Hi, my name is Johanne. I make gaming and science videos to avoid doing the things I should be doing, which I guess right now is just waiting for my grade. I guess this is better. This is better than, than waiting for the grade. Because I just handed it my thesis yesterday, which is why I'm, I'm finally ready to make videos again. So I just got YouTube partnered, which is crazy, I think. So this is going to be a video about that. But before I get to that, I would like to talk a little bit just like casually. So if you're here and you're thinking, who is this? I don't really care about her. Then here's a time step. You can go to that. And that's where I will exclusively talk about being a YouTube partner and what happens when you're a new YouTube partner. Um, but before that, I just, yeah, I, I just feel so weird about having subscribers. So I just really, really wanted to thank all of you guys for choosing to subscribe. That's a crazy amount of people. I know that on YouTube, like a thousand subscribers isn't that much technically, but literally to me, I have I just got so excited when I reached 100. I was like, damn, that's that's people who are nice enough to want to uh, to watch me or at least to support me by clicking the button. So more than 100 is a crazy amount to me because I don't I don't plan on having a YouTube career. I'm not here to get subscribers. I'm just here because I think it's fun to make a few videos. Um, so like we seriously thank you guys so much. I I reached I think a thousand subscribers some days ago, uh, and I was like, damn, now I can I guess make money off of YouTube. And then I guess I'm already at at one thousand three hundred or four hundred or something. I can't even imagine that amount of people. So to me, it it feels. It's sort of weird now you're becoming numbers instead of people, which I think is sort of crazy. So that's why I really wanted to make a video that's more casual and say hello to everyone. And so I don't really want you guys to be numbers. I'm really curious about why are you here? What do you want? Like, uh, if you feel like commenting down below what sort of content you're hoping for, uh, that would help me a lot. Um, because I don't plan on making exclusively a Fantasia, hyper Fantasia content. And I assume a lot of you are here because of that. Um, I will be making some more videos on that, but that's not going to be the sole thing here. So will you be disappointed by that? And if you have any specific requests, anything you're really interested in, please put it down below. I have some video ideas, but I would love to hear what you guys are here for what you're interested in why you chose to subscribe um and really just who you are it's i i want to know i'm really curious but yeah seriously thank you so 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 much for subscribing it's i know all youtubers are like oh thank you it's so crazy but it, you really have to imagine before i put out the a fantasia hyper fantasia video i got like 20 views per video and I was happy about that. It wasn't like a, oh, I can't wait to get more. I was really content with that. And I had, I think, 60 subscribers or something, 50 subscribers, um, and felt really chill about that. So now there are more of you. <laughs> so as you can see, I haven't made a video in a while, which is sort of a mix between um, the fact that suddenly I had subscribers, which was a bit scary. <laughs> Um, but also, I think first and foremost, uh, because I finished my thesis, I uh, handed it in yesterday. We'll see when this comes out. <laughs> um, but I handed it in the 27th of May. And um, yeah, we'll see. I, I feel pretty happy about it. <laughs> and also, I got a job. So that's pretty crazy. So basically, I'm in a position where I'm just waiting for my grade and I'm waiting to start my job. Um, so, I mean, what better to do than make YouTube videos the entire summer? And in case you're curious, my job is as a teacher, which I know in some countries isn't really um, 
a good job if you have a master's, <laughs> but in Denmark, it's required that you have a master's to become a gymnasium teacher, which is not about the gym. It's not a, it's not a physical exercise thing. That's what we call high school, sort of hi late high school, early college age. Um, so I'll be working as a gymnasium teacher for a year, um, basically because, I mean, I like teaching. I love teaching, but I really want to work in research which I don't think surprises anyone. But it, the job market right now, post-COVID, or I guess intra-COVID, is horrible. The, with my master's education, there's a 40% unemployment rate. So I was just really happy that I, I got a teaching job and it's a really well-paying job. It's better paid than research, definitely. So I'll... I'll basically just be enjoying this year and meanwhile I'll be applying for research jobs and we'll see what happens but for now I'm a teacher which is really exciting and it's going to be really fun. Okay so that was a little life update and a little hey you. Um, so I really wanted to talk about the YouTube partner thing. Because I can imagine some people being sort of curious about that. Um, so I just sort of wanted to go through the process of what happens when you suddenly have a semi-viral video. I'm aware that I guess it has like 60,000 views isn't viral, but going from 20 views to 60,000, that feels sort of viral <laughs> to me at least. So if I use any of the wrong terms, I'm so sorry, my YouTube is in Danish, so I sort of have to guess what it's called in English, and it's probably not going to be too far off, but if there's a term that's off, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you have a YouTube channel, there's a tab called Revenue Stream or Revenue Generation, and when you go there, it sort of counts how close you are to partnering. Um, there are two goals you must reach one one being 1000 subscribers and the second being that you have 4000 uh, public showing hours uh, within the last year so basically that your videos have accumulatively been watched a total of 4000 hours and you can sort of follow along as it goes up, but it only uh, adjusts once per day, which I think is really nice because otherwise I'd be sort of prone to looking all the time and sort of waiting because it's sort of exciting, right, to, to see the numbers go up. But you can only really get new numbers once per day. So that made it a bit <laughs> less stressful, I think. Um, when I got 1,000 subscribers, uh, I was lacking like 600 hours of watch time and I figured oh that's gonna take some while but uh, two days later I had the 4,000 in total so it really went fast it's sort of once the numbers start going up they seem to not stagnate I guess the stagnation is coming later I it it makes sense from a sort of data perspective right that at one point the video isn't gonna get as much traction um, but for now, um, it's just sort of going up, which is crazy. Once you've got that, the, the screen changes. So you have to do two things in order to, to go into the next step. You have to sign the YouTube agreement and you have to create and link an AdSense account. And I already had an AdSense account for an old project. So that was really easy. And then you just sort of click, hey, I want to be a partner. And you wait, basically. And it says that it typically takes one month for them to go through your profile, make sure that everything is legit, and then accept it. But it only took me three days. So I don't know if I was like exceptionally lucky or I don't know what's up, but it, it really didn't take a month. So... If you're in the process of that and you're watching this video because you're really curious about how long that takes, it's super quick. It takes no time at all, or at least to me it didn't. So as you can hear, it's it's really easy. You sort of have to keep an eye on stuff um, and you have to click a few buttons once in a while, but really then you're, you're a partner and then you can just sort of 
start making money, which is great. Um, but I think, th and this is sort of where it gets interesting because I don't mind talking about money. YouTube isn't really a, um, YouTube isn't really a career path for me. It's a hobby. Um, so let's talk about money. So how much money do I make? Is of course not representative of everyone, but let's just really quickly go into the numbers, right? So I have 1,000 to 1,500 subscribers. I'm a completely new partner and I get typically somewhere between 2,000 and 5,000 views per day. I think compared to a lot of other YouTubers, I have a great engagement, at least on that one video that I made, because a lot of people uh, like to comment on it because they're sort of uh, want to share their personal experience. Um, so I think this is like a sort of exceptionally good video for money, I think. Not that I made it with that in mind, but I can just sort of see compared to other YouTube videos with the same sort of views and stuff that it, it gets a, a very lo a lot of engagement. And I think that's maybe why the algorithm likes to put it out there. I don't know. Um, so this is like a, a good YouTube video, but um, still it, it's not like crazy viral. It doesn't get that many views. Um, and you only get revenue like two days at a time. I've been partnered for two days. So today I saw my first number of what kind of money I make. For Wednesday the 26th, I had 1,900 views, so sort of a slow day. And that equates to uh, 36 Danish crowns, uh, which is a little under six American dollars. Of course, the YouTube algorithm is sort of a mystery, so I can't be sure that this is what I'm making every single day. But as this was what I made on a slow day, it's very likely that I will be making this every day, I guess. I don't know. So if we just assume that I'm going to make this or more every day, then that leaves me with uh, 1080 Danish crowns per month, which is uh, 177 American dollars. I just wanted to quickly add in a little voiceover that when I look at the numbers now, three days later, they're definitely going down, both revenue and viewers. So that stagnation I talked about, it seems that it has arrived, which is okay. So basically what this information leaves us with is that you, YouTube is, that's a lot of money Basically, I, I don't really have views that are extraordinary. I can see on my revenue that this is from that one video. But basically, as a student, which I, I still am for a few, for a few weeks, a thousand Danish crowns per month is actually something that, that would pay my, my food budget. Um, it's not rent money, sort of, but it's food money, which I think is, is really crazy because that's just a very, very small creator. Like, as I said, yes, this video is semi-viral, but it, it only has 60,000 views. So although you can't sort of just multiply and say that, oh, of course, that means that everyone uh, makes that sort of money um, equating to the amount of views they have, we can still assume that someone who has uh, a million views per video or just half a million views makes, I guess, a lot of money. So really, the fact that I can make something that actually affects my, my budget or actually adds to my budget just from having one video that gets a few thousand vi uh, views per day, really, I think, is sort of crazy. Um, I think it's surprisingly um, likely that I could make this into a career. Like I said, I'm really not interested in, in making it into a career, but I never in my life would have thought that just having 1,000 uh, subscribers, or I guess now it's 1,400 or whatever, 
um, would equate to like tangible amounts of money, I would have sort of assumed that I would be making like 50 crowns per per month. You know, the, the amount that it, it costs to go for a coffee at a cafe. That sort of money was where my head was at. But yeah, I think it's it's really interesting, these sort of... I, I know that like influencer money isn't new anymore, but to me it is sort of a, a weird career path and a career path that I don't really know much about. Um, so I think it's really interesting to look at and sort of talk about what sort of money are we really talking about here? And I think especially a lot of people don't really want to share what they make. But but for me, it's really beneficial to to know about um, revenue. So you know whether you're being treated with respect on the job market, whether you're, you're experiencing differences that are fair and what you can sort of do to... Uh, to exist within these differences and i think that applies to normal <laughs> normal jobs as well being aware of what your colleagues make can really be beneficial and um and help you avoid being cheated by a scummy employer <laughs> yeah so that's really why i wanted to to share this and i would be open to making more videos in the future i don't really have much data to work with for now because i'm a completely new partner yeah, so this is sort of a casual chatty video. I hadn't really planned much, but I hope you got something out of it. And that's really basically what I wanted to say. Like, like thank you if you subscribed and even if you didn't, just thank you for being here. Um and and yeah, my my life is going into a new stage and we'll see what that means for this hobby project. Um Hopefully I'll still be making videos once in a while. At least in the summer, I'll be doing a lot of videos. Um, and then, yeah, I, I make money off of YouTube now. Absolutely crazy, uh, I think. Wild concept. Um, um, yeah, so I hope you got something out of this. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And please... Feel welcome to put whatever you want in the comments. I haven't been that good at keeping up with comments on my big, huge video because so much happened there. Um, and it's sort of, <laughs> I started getting a bit of anxiety from all the, all the engagement, which I know is sort of stupid, but I will definitely be keeping up with this hopefully smaller, <laughs> smaller amount of comments. Um, and I would love to hear from you. Uh, who you are and why you're here and you know what's up um yeah so see you in the next video which will be a science video uh that i've been wanting to make for a while uh, and i'm really exciting excited about finally having the time to do have a wonderful day and maybe i'll see you in another video bye everyone <laughs>